This is West Metro Station 9. It is strategically located at the mouth of Bear Creek Canyon at C-470 and Morrison Road. At Station 9, we have three different types of apparatus. We have the uh, Type 1 engine, which is our everyday apparatus, and then we have a uh, Wildland Type 6 engine and a Wildland Type 3 engine. So within Station 9's first in area, we cover the historic town of Morrison, we cover Red Rocks Amphitheater, we cover Bear Creek Lake Park, we cover Bandemere Speedway, and part of uh, Green Mountain. At Station 9, we also house the UTV, which is an emergency vehicle that we use for several different applications. One of them is for fire. It's set up for uh, grass fires, for a quick hit, places that we can't get the, the uh, Type 6 brush trucks. We also use it for training to move stuff around. And then the big thing we've used it for in the last couple of years is to put our Stokes basket on it to get people out of the Bear Creek Lake Park or some of the open space areas that get injured on trails or on their bikes that we can't get the ambulance to, which reduces our response time into those areas and we're able to uh, move crews to the patient and to get the patient out faster. Station 9 is responsible for all the supplies uh, and chainsaws not only for the wildland team, but for the, for the entire department, anything to do with wildland. In this room here, we do all the maintenance for the steel chainsaws that we use uh, for the entire department. That, those are the chainsaws that would be on our towers uh, and on our wildland apparatus and any of the engines that have chainsaws. One of the responsibilities for Station 9 is that we maintain and repair any of the wildland hand tools that goes out to all the different type 6 brush trucks or the engines. Uh, we're able to sharpen them, repair them, and store them here in case we need more on a fire or, uh, or an incident. So in our third bay, this bay is focused mainly on wildland tools and equipment and backstock. So the equipment that we find in here is uh, water and food, MREs that we can take to incidents or when we go out on federal fires we take that with us. We've got Class A foam which is a foam that we use uh, in wildland fire. We also have different sizes of hose. Each hose has kind of a, sep a special separate purpose. At Station 9 one of the responsibilities that we have is to house and support the wildland team which is about 60 individuals that travel all over the country on federal deployments as well as uh, here in Colorado and within our district. These wildland team members become the subject matter experts for our district so they bring the education that they learn on fires across the country back to assist the residents of our district and to bring training back for the rest of the department. So we have a special secured area for the wildland team members to be able to store their equipment that they would need to leave on a deployment within an hour of notification. This includes their camping gear, their line gear, information that they need to carry, and it's all tents and sleeping bags, all the stuff that they would need to be able to stay out on a fire for 14 days plus travel. Each year we provide a safety refresher for all of our wildland firefighters and all of our line firefighters that includes safety, weather, entrapment procedures, education on what happened last year and what we're expecting to happen this year. Hey, go ahead, Charlie. We think about the wildland season being in the summer when it's hot and dry and windy, but along the front range of Colorado, wildland season is all year long. We've had some of our biggest fires in February, March, November. We need to be prepared, and here at Station 9, that's what we do. We're not only prepared for our first in area, but we really take pride in preparing the entire district for wildland response. Hey, Choppy. My winds are pretty calm up here right now. 